Hey friends, welcome to the channel Connect Talks. This is Pranavesh hosting this channel, an initiative by LD Global Mumbai Chapter in collaboration with Pragati Software Solution, a space for co working. Location courtesy Vigro Business Facilitator. Today, with us, we have an MBA graduate with experience in domains of human resources. She is a certified image consultant and a trainer and has conducted over 600 workshops with a plethora of subjects for industries like banking and finance, media and many more. She has been featured on televisions and radios and also been featured on newspapers and magazines. Let us hear it from Ms. Grishma Thampi. So welcome Grishma to our channel Connect Talks. Thank you. Um, we had invite. Uh, it's a pleasure to invite you. Uh, a lot of uh, topics that we mentioned on our channel. Right. So there's a, a very much uh, a crisp topic that you have on personal branding. So, uh, what's your take on it? Okay. Firstly, thank you so much, Pranavesh, for uh, inviting me on your channel. Uh, so we will start about personal branding, but before that I want to talk to you about <coughs> another very important topic that is perceptions. Okay. What is personal branding? We'll start with what is perceptions. Chicken. So perception is your point of view about someone or something. Correct. In today's world, because it's so fast paced, we don't really have the time to get to know a lot of people. Exactly. We make these snap judgments about people based on limited information that we have collected about them. Perfect. This is how our human brains are wired. Okay. So back in the jungle, when the concept was survival of the fittest, you know, when we saw a ferocious animal, our brain told us this is danger. Correct. Today's world, when we meet people, it's not danger or safety that we look at. Correct. We look at whether the person is likable. Okay. And whether we want to form a relationship with that individual. Oh. Right. Cool. So let's understand what is perception and impressions. Chica. Now moving forward, your question was, what is personal branding? Okay. So if I were to ask you, Pranavesh, any leader that you know you really admire? Steve Jobs. Okay. Any quality about him that you really admire? One or two qualities. Leadership, first of okay. all. Okay, leadership skills. Good quality is communication. So communication, perfect. So leadership skills as a skill is quite intangible. Okay. So when you look at leaders, they have a lot of skills, whether it's charisma, emotionally, how they connect, how they handle difficult situations. Okay. But these are all intangible skills. Okay. Your personal brand makes these intangible skills more tangible. Oh. Okay. Amazing. So we all have a lot of qualities in us that okay. we would like people to associate with us. Correct. But unless we make those qualities more tangible and more visible, how is it that people are going to know whether we have those qualities in us or no? Wonderful. And that is what is personal branding. So I'm going to ask you, Pranavesh, huh. uh, you know, you've been doing so many interesting things. So if people were to think of Pranavesh, okay. what are the words they should associate with you? Give me three. I could say confidence. Lovely. Second, I could think of the energy that Fantastic. I have. Fantastic. Okay, great. Um, another thing... Uh, Leadership. Leadership. Lovely. So again, you will notice these are intangible words. Correct. Absolutely. But there is some way in which you're going to make it more tangible. Okay. And on a lighter note, okay. your personal brand is what people talk about you when you're not in the same room. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be the truest <laughs> personal brand all about. Okay. So there is a very interesting model which okay. can be used by each and every one of us, whether it's a student, a homemaker, a professional, a CEO. Anyone and everyone can adopt this little model okay. to create your own personal branding strategy. Okay. We are doing this in our own little ways. Okay. But hopefully after this, you're going to have a strategy, strategy in, place in place in creating your personal brand. Wow, wonderful. And it's also really simple to remember. Okay. Your personal branding model is the A, B, C, D model of personal branding. Wow. Okay. So let's understand what A, B, C, D is. Okay. And, uh, and how you're going to make it more tangible. Okay. A stands for your appearance. Okay, so it comes about your grooming, your uh, uh, etiquettes of uh, professionalism on yes. how do you groom yourself. Yes. Okay. So under appearance, it will be the way you dress, Okay. your grooming okay. and your self-presentation. 
Because when we look at someone, first three seconds we are creating an impression which is Correct. primarily based on the appearance that they are projecting. Correct. To. Absolutely right. The B stands for behavior. Okay. So how do you conduct yourself in various situations, whether it's a professional meeting, the way you're dining with, you know, your uh, business associates, how you conduct yourself in different occasions would come under B, that is behavior. Behavior. Okay. C stands for communication skills. Oh, wow. So communication does not only stop at verbal, but it also involves a non-verbal non -verbal communication. communication. Exactly. So we all know that how important the email body language. email etiquette, everything. Absolutely. So okay. email writing to your face-to-face -face communication, your telephone, your body language. Body language. So important. Your presentation skills, everything comes in. And the last missing puzzle, which is very important for our D. personal brand, is D, which is your digital impression. Wow, wonderful. Absolutely. So in today's world, even before I met someone face to face, there's already an impression that we created. Probably we Googled the person or checked exactly. their LinkedIn or their Facebook. Mm -hmm. So before we actually create that impression face to face, there's already an impression set digital. in our mind based on the digital space. Wow, wonderful. So viewers, you must be watching this. Uh, A, B, C, D. So A stands for appearance. B stands for behavior. C stands for communication skills and D stands for digital impression. Fantastic. So please note it down by yourself. Perfect. So now whatever words you mentioned, confidence, energetic, leadership, you need to ensure through your ABCD you're projecting those qualities. Wow. A lot of us will, you know, probably think I have great leadership skills, but unless we've demonstrated that, that in exactly. the way we communicate, in the way we behave, in the way we look, how is it that people are going to think that we possess those skills? Wow. While you're making our ABCD, there's also huh. a very important thing to remember, Correct. which is called the two A's. So okay. It's very easy. So we have ABCD, now we have our two A's. Sub legs, Absolutely. you can say. Okay. Your personal friend should have the two A's. Okay. The first one is authentic. Okay. And the second one is appropriate. Wow. Okay. Authenticity means who I genuinely am, my true self. That okay. is your internal aspect. Okay. And appropriateness is what is expected out of me in the occasion, situation and the people that I'm meeting. Adaptability of the situation, you can Perfect. say. Perfect. Wow. So there's a certain style, communication, behavior that I possess. Correct. But I can't be myself everywhere. I need to, you know, find that fa thin line between who I am versus what is expected out of me in that occasion. Correct. And that is where we find the balance between authenticity, which is internal, and appropriateness, appropriateness. which is external. Wow. So we was, I'm sure you are noting down with a pen and paper handy, two A's. So, appropriate and authenticity. So, again. So, Grishma, uh, uh, could you let, let us know that uh, how could leaders benefit from uh, personal branding? Absolutely. So, I'm sure in your career, you would have realized that a lot of people actually deserve the top position. Okay. But very few are absolutely you know, able to get there. Correct. Is it because they lack technical knowledge? Correct. Okay. May no, not be. May not be. There are some other skills that are really required by a leader. Okay. The definition of a leader is not, you know, a person doesn't become a leader just by designation. Correct. It's when people want to follow you. Exactly. So there are certain skills that are required which draw people towards you and okay. that is what your presence is all about. Wow. Now there was a research done at Harvard as well as at Stanford where they realized that a person's success is 15% dependent on technical knowledge, but 85% on soft skills. Oh, is it? So even now when you think about your leaders, you know, you're talking about so many softer skills, okay. how they are able to connect, how they're able to motivate, how okay. they communicate with their teams, Correct. how they're able to lead change. Uh, all of this comes in the charisma that the leader possesses. So okay. all of that is the presence or the personal brand of a leader. So do you have any uh, any such case studies or maybe any examples that you could give, give Absolutely. us? Absolutely. So uh, let's take the, you know, obviously one of the top leaders of our country is none other than our Prime Minister, Mr. Wow, Narendra, Narendra Modi. Modi. Okay. And trust me, he uses the ABCD model beautifully for his own personal branding. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah? So we remember ABCD, A was? Appearance. Appearance, behavior. Behavior. Communication and digital presence. So let's understand how Mr. Modi uses ABCD for his personal branding. Okay. 
appearance. So the minute you think of Mr. Modi, the first thing that exactly. comes in is absolutely the Modi kurta. It's got rebranded yes. as the Modi, Modi kurta. kurta. So he uses appearance, that jacket, as an extension of his personal brand. Correct. If you've realized he wears beautiful colors, you know, he's not really dressed in a typical business suit. Correct. So he carries his authentic style, Stay. but which is also appropriate. Okay. Second, his behavior. Hmm. Yes, he can be aggressive when required, but he's humble and approachable. Sometimes he's very friendly with a lot of uh, you know, diplomats, which may or may not go well. Correct. But you see how he changes his behavior, okay. maintaining his authenticity. Correct. Communication abilities. Okay. I'm sure everyone will agree that he is a very effective communicator. Correct. If you look at his language, it's really simple. You know, but his voice modulation, voice modulation. his uh, body language is what really makes a difference. Wow. And lastly, the digital impression. Digital impression. We all know no. PMO is a tweet away. Exactly. You know, monkey mon bar mon on television, yeah. internet, Everything. he's all over. Correct. So it's very easy for him to establish his brand using the ABCD. So if wow. the Prime Minister of the country is doing it, all of us need to do it for our personal brand as well. Perfect, we said perfectly. So thank you, Krishma, once again uh, for this entire conversation. Uh, I just have a question here. Uh, mm. You mentioned about uh, Modi that right. he uh, carries the attire every right. different. But if I look, as I said, I admire Steve Jobs. Yes. Right? So yes. <laughs> Steve Jobs have been noticed. Steve Jobs have only one Absolutely. attire in the entire student career of his Apple. Sure. Why? Interesting. So Pranavesh, this is one of the most frequently asked questions that I have to deal with in my corporate programs. And in fact, I've recently written a blog on this very topic. Okay. So I did do a lot of research to understand why Steve Jobs decided not to experiment and okay. instead of wearing business suits that most executives would wear, okay. why did he choose that typical black turtleneck and denim? Correct. So number one point is, you know, when leaders, they have a concept called decision fatigue. Achha. They have so many decisions to make in the day. The last thing they want to do is now decide what to wear. Exactly. So to avoid that decision fatigue, you know, they decide a certain look. Same uh, Mark Zuckerberg absolutely. has done this. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Yes, you're absolutely so, right. Even if I say that everybody who has the same attire has this decision fatigue kind of thing? I don't know, but I, it's just that one less decision that they want to make through the day. Okay, so you, you might say that this could be one of the reasons. Absolutely, yes. Wonderful. Now, and, and going forward, so actually what happened is Steve Jobs went to Japan and he saw at Sony all the workers were wearing uniforms. Okay. So he got very inspired by the idea because it helps people work together. Correct. Okay. So he came back to America and he went and told his Apple employees, hey, let's start you know, wearing uniforms. And people did not accept that idea one no. bit. <laughs> so what Steve Obviously. Jobs did yeah. is, he said, you know what, if you don't want to wear a uniform, it's fine. Let me see if I can create a uniform for myself. And with designer Isi Miyaki, they actually designed this look. Okay. It's not by accident. There's actually a little bit of strategy even in the look that he's created. Okay. Now you will remember he wears a black turtleneck. Turtleneck, yeah. With denim. Denim. Now understand, most people at Apple are very creative. Correct. Right? So they would be dressed in extremely casual clothes. Correct. So if Mr. Steve Jobs came in business suits and ties, would he be able to connect with these people? No. No, there would be a little bit Certainly. of distance. Exactly, correct. So he decided his look needs to be one notch higher in authority, huh. but still have that approachability with his, uh, you know, employees. Employees. So black is actually one of the most authoritative colors. Oh. So okay. instead of wearing a white or any other color, black is authority. Authority. When most people would be wearing round neck t-shirts, short sleeves, Correct. he decided to go for total neck, Turtle which is one notch black. higher, and okay. long sleeves which are folded. Wow. It's tucked in and not loosely left out, yeah. okay. and with a straight pair of denim. denim. Of course, the famous uh, glasses are again a part exactly. of his personal brand. Correct. Correct. So you see, you know, even The though, round one. Exactly. So even though it doesn't mean casual attire means casual, hmm. if it's appropriate for the people you're meeting, it is absolutely acceptable. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Amazing point that was, Grishma. Um, okay. Next question that I have is, uh, any tips uh, for uh, professional uh, help, which helps personal branding? Absolutely. So for professionals, one of the most important things is, 
don't just consider your current designation. Okay. Always think one notch higher. What is it that you want to become tomorrow? You know, there's also a saying, don't dress for who you are today, but who you want to be tomorrow. tomorrow. If tomorrow you want to be promoted as a leader, you need to look like a leader, you need to behave like a leader, you need to communicate like a leader, your ABC has to be in place. So look at the next level. Find out what are the skills that are required for you to reach there. Okay. I'm sure we all possess a lot of strengths. So do a proper assessment of what strengths you have. Okay. What are the other areas of improvement or okay. development okay. which is going to help you reach them. All right. So always keep that next position in mind. Please focus on your soft skills. Exactly. Okay, this is something that I notice everywhere that people are so focused on their technical knowledge that exactly. they somehow miss out on soft skills. And like I mentioned some time back, it's your soft skills that's going to help you reach the next step in your career. Wow. And of course, knowledge is important. So here we talk about another concept that you need style with substance. Okay. So you have to have the style so you get the you know, opportunity, but you need to have the substance to prove your worth that opportunity. Wonderful. So this was about professional. Right. Uh, how could personal branding help students? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, I really wish I knew about personal branding when I was a student. I am sure I would have been able to create my brand. So this is a good start for students. Okay. Now, again, for students, it's extremely important to invest in their soft skills, which is unfortunately not a part of our curriculum. Okay. Nobody can ever over invest in communication skills. Oh, okay. I'm sure you would have realized this exactly, in correct. any corporate, you know, communication programs are held across levels. Exactly. Because you're never going to be an excellent communicator. There's something for something us to learn. Yeah, exactly. So nowadays, a lot of students have a very casual approach. Exactly. So yes, depending on where you're working or, you know, what you want to achieve, you may want to create that appropriateness also. Okay. So invest in your soft skills, you know, bring awareness, so much to read, so much to watch, that's important. And one little tip for, you know, students, be extremely careful what you're posting on social media. Media. Yeah, I knew uh, knew about this. Right. Uh, when I just finished my college right. and uh, so three, four years of uh, working here and there with right. some brands or companies, I used to post on social media, yes. like <laughs> any pics that I used to go for exactly. college and everything. But then when professionalism came in me, right. so then I knew, yes, you need to maintain your professional Absolutely. front and then personal front Absolutely. differently. So do a Google check on yourself. Actually, this is something that even professionals can do and see what information about you is there. So that because even when you're getting hired for a job, there's chances that somebody's already done a Google check on you Correct. and all your information would be available there. So Grishma, let us know that uh, how have you coached uh, CEO and entrepreneurs, okay, now would you like to share some experience on that? Absolutely. So a CEO or an entrepreneur is the face of the organization. You know, a lot of brands, they hire brand ambassadors, you know, there's film star celebrities. For a company, it's the CEO or, you know, who is the face of the company. Correct. So we have to work on the branding of this individual because the way he carries, he presents, he conducts himself, it creates an impression of the entire organization. Okay. Right? So I have coached a number of CEOs and entrepreneurs on different aspects of their ABCD. Okay. It's so interesting. So there was one of my CEO client, he was going to be interviewed on Forbes. Oh. So we actually, you know, got him to Mumbai. We went to Palladium Mall. We've done personal shopping for him, like put his entire attire together. So how he needs to look on magazine when he's interviewed on TV. So all of that was discussed. On the behavior to front, we worked on uh, concepts like dining etiquette, which is okay. so important for someone who travels across the world. Okay. Uh, you know, l certain nuances of professional protocol, cross-cultural sensitivity as well. Okay. Then on communication, you know, even a leader needs to learn the body language of a leader. Okay. So how you don't want to come across is very intimidating, but at the same time, how according to the occasion, you bring in a little bit of approachability. So you worked on different aspects of the body language okay. and even key concepts like elevator pitch, which elevator is very pitch, important. Exactly. 
and of course the digital piece so we've actually got um, you know reviewed his entire linkedin the articles that are written how he needs to develop his twitter his facebook presence the display picture on the whatsapp what that is also creating your personal brand exactly. so this is how depending on what is the impression the organization wants to create in the market we help the ceo create a similar you know, as you said um, professional social media and personal social Absolutely. media has to be different yes wonderful point there um grish man i just came across your profile also right usme we have came across this uh, tagline as image banani hai on right. television something right. Right. so could you just bit elaborate sure so that is a television show that i done on zoom uh, some time back so that was a piece on dining etiquette which is uh, there on youtube so you want to get quick tips you can do that wow. and also one of the usps that i can teach anyone to eat with chopsticks in less than 5 minutes <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So thank you so much, Grishma. Uh, there was an amazing uh, conversation out here. So thank you, viewers, for watching Connect Talks, an initiative by L and D Global Mumbai Chapter, in collaboration with Pragati Software Solutions, a space for co-working. Location courtesy Vigro Business Facilitator. So hope to see you connected again. Collaborate, co-create, and contribute. Thank you so much.